my creatives and welcome to another video. So today I'm here to share a Valentine's meal flipbook I made for Sayer. And I am using the Lala Love collection by Crate Paper. This is a kit I bought from AC Digitals and will be linked down below for you to find if you want to see what I used. Everything that I used is listed down below in the description box. So first of all, I chose some papers and I print these at home with my own uh, printer and uh, they always leave a white edge so I always cut that up and now I'm just backing these papers up because I do not print them double sided I could if I wanted to but I rather not choose <laughs> which side I'm going to use so I always print them single sided and now I'm just going to add a double side piece to that so this a little card thingy is part of the elements pack so I decided to print them a little bit smaller and uh, I thought it would f uh, create fun interactive elements like I'm going to do on this meal. Uh, but first of all, of course, I need to cut off the excess paper. So I was cutting it pretty crooked. So in the end, I decided to... I could have done this right away, but I didn't. Um, to cut it with my paper trimmer. So now I am going to take these papers and I'm going them I'm going to fold them in half. So this flipbook will be about A5 size, just a little bit smaller. And I think this is an A6 size, kinda a little bit smaller than that little card thingy. I'm going to add to the cover. Of course I need a doily, so I'm going through my doilies and I find this tiny one I thought would look really nice with the um the flap that I created and now I'm going to cut off some of this excess paper because uh, of course I will not cut it perfectly every time uh, so that is what I did there with my scissors now I'm going to add a dually border around my mail I'm going to do this on the front cover and on the back and on that tiny card that you see over there with a happy valentine's day love I'm going to add a faux stitch border to that um, this is the first time that I worked with this collection and it always feels for me like I have to get into the groove of things so I like to stick to things I know I like like adding a doily or adding a dually border because it gives me a point to start uh, without overwhelming myself because I always have a little bit of a hard time when I work with a collection the first time because the options are endless I mean the options are endless and I don't really have a feel for it yet so I like to build my base and work from there so that's also what I'm going to do on the inside, create a faux stitch border uh, and then I will work on my mail with some embellishments. So you see me go through this box and these are all elements that came in the digital kit. Uh, these are all hand cut by myself because I don't have a silhouette or a paper trimmer. And if you want to know uh, how to do that and how to prepare and print your own digital kits, I have a video for you that I will leave linked down below in the description box. And it gives you a tutorial on how to do it and I will show how I do mine. And it gives you the papers that I use and the printer that I use, everything. So I settled on these three hearts and now I'm going to add say her her name with some thickers and I really like the gold with the red uh, so that is what I chose for her name and now I'm going through this box again to find what I seek. Uh, so red is my challenge color. Um, I usually don't work with the red or not a lot of red because I find this color very very difficult to work with. I know it is Sayer her favorite so I try to use more red than I would usually do um, but it was really it was a little bit of a challenge to create this meal especially with the colors and that I didn't work with this kit before. So it was a little bit of a challenge, but I had fun and say her loved it. So that is all good. So now I'm taking some flat back pearls. Yes, I learned the name for these. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Amy, for telling me that. Uh, I'm going to take some flat back, flat back pearls and I'm going to adhere these to my cover. And I'm just going to scatter them around a little bit on some random places, but still being a part of the embellishment cluster if that makes any sense and now I'm going to take that paper clip and a little bit of ribbon to decorate it because that flap 
thingy card that I made for up the front uh, is standing up a little bit or open and I know I want to add some goodies inside that so it will only get worse so I thought a little paper clip just move in there it fit perfectly we'll keep it closed and uh, it also looks really cute so uh, I was really happy to do so when I went through my ribbons I also found this pom pom trim and I thought it would look so cute on the side of this mail I never did that before I think if someone received a mail from me where I did this please let me know but I don't think I had this in a mail before so I thought it was a perfect uh, little addition uh, to this mail and to the cover so I just took some Nouveau Deluxe glue and I put a tiny strip of glue there. It's a bit of fussing around, but once it's stuck, it's stuck down there and it will not come off. Uh, so that is really, really good, but um, it's a little bit of fussing. You have to be a little bit of patience, have a little bit of patience if you want to uh, do something like this, but it's perfectly doable. So now I'm going to work on the inside of the card on the cover. And I wanted to add a little baggie in there uh, for some goodies. And of course, I also wanted to decorate a little bit. And also here you are going to see that I struggle a little bit with this kit, especially because it's themed. It's very heavy in certain colors, like red, <laughs> uh, which is a challenge color for me. And uh, I wasn't familiar yet, so I... I didn't feel like uh, I didn't feel really comfortable with it yet and once I get a little bit more comfortable with me uh, kits or supplies that I have I create um, more yeah how do I say that it goes better <laughs> uh, this one was quite a challenge also um, I don't know if you guys see it but I see it I struggle a little bit with perfectionism in this uh, this meal. I don't think that you guys will see it, but I I see it on how I'm crafting, and that I am, you know, having a little bit of uh, perfectionism uh, doing doing its thing. <laughs> um, so that's also why this video is a little bit longer because I'm trying out a lot of things and I even cut out a lot of footage simply because I was not doing anything. Um, but yeah, it was it was quite a quite a thing. So here I'm going to add some washi tapes to a card, and I'm going to add that card in the little baggie. That was the plan all along. <laughs> uh, with some washi tapes, I thought Sarah would like. So I added some washi tapes from Action. One that was gifted to me by one of you guys, and one Dina Weekly washi tape with the hearts. And now I will continue uh, embellishing. I usually like to add things in threes. So that was what I was looking for. I wanted to add a little bit more to the clusters uh, because it, they felt a little bit bare to me. Uh, in the end, I didn't find the perfect composition or the perfect thing. I just settled and was like, this looks good enough. I think Sayer loves it. Um, even though if I am so critical about myself and so critical critical about not having the perfect composition um, you know most of the time other people don't see it so we shouldn't get worried about these things I know we all do or most of us do but um, most of the times people people really don't see it it was funny because um, the other day I talked with Sayer about my mail and the things that I see are not straight or are you know not completely perfect she doesn't even see them so i think that's also the message i want to give you with this um video not only my mail of course is an inspiration but also we shouldn't worry too much about it it's about fun so why do we put so much pressure on ourselves to create the perfect thing so as you saw i eventually settled on adding adding some flat back flat back pearls even though I think that's a difficult word to say, <laughs> I have to uh, practice a little bit, I think. <laughs> um, but then uh, I settled on that and uh, just stopped fussing with it and uh, moved on to the inside of this flipbook. So here is this 
obviously very red paper very very red paper which i really wanted to use for share her because i know she would love it uh, but it was so red <laughs> so i struggled a little bit with it uh, but i'm going to create a pocket on the side for my letter and this paper is five and a half inch by five and a half inch and now i measured two centimeters so i think about an inch from the corners to create a diagonal and at first I did it on the wrong side, uh, but I corrected myself because my pocket looked very small. And now I'm going to score at half an inch on two sides to create my gluing flaps. And I'm going to cut off the excess little corners in a kind of triangle, sh triangular shape. So here I am finally decided on what I'm going to do. So I took this book page paper and it's from an old atlas. It has the index on there and uh, I thought it looked very cool uh, with how the text was lay laid down on this page. And I'm going to make two 3x4 envelopes from this. So my paper is 6x6 six six, and the envelope size will be 3x4 after I'm done. Um, and I'm going to assemble those uh, with my envelope punch board which I very very much like. I love this tool. I'm very happy I bought this tool several years ago because I use it on almost every project. And now I'm going to decide on how I want this layout to look. So um, yeah, this is where you're going to see me struggle a little bit and I will tell you where the perfectionism really hit me. <laughs> but we're not there yet. Uh, so now I'm going to distress all of the edges of the envelopes with some distress oxide and I am just going to stick these envelopes together with some double sided tape. So now there are two really cute little envelopes for some goodies. So <clears throat> um, at first I thought I wanted to adhere them immediately but then I decided to add a dually border and uh, I did that with the permanent fine liner but so the ink was still wet when I touched this and uh, I think it's because I have a laser printer and the way how laser printers work so the ink was laying on top of these patterns and uh, after a little bit I figured out that I smudged my pen so <laughs> I tried to fix that up a little bit and um, uh, you will see that here that I will uh, smudge it. Uh, I will add this washi tape as well on both sides. But here I'm going to smudge it. <laughs> because I'm going to push it down uh, to stick it down. And you see here I found out. I'm like, no, <laughs> no, I smudged it. Um, so I will redraw my lines in the hope it looks less smudged. And I'm going to take my heat tool to dry it a little bit but it was still a bit wet so there are some black spots in uh, on these pockets <clears throat> i'm going to cut off the excess washi tape and um, i'm going to re-stick it a little bit so yeah i don't know it's, for me it feels like i'm very happy with the end result but during this process i run into a lot of little things that really bugged me so now I'm going to assemble this envelope part. So at first I thought I wanted to have the two envelopes just on top of each other. But then I thought if I would turn them into a little flip out or flip book, that would look so cool. But the envelopes are never completely the same because, you know, I'm not a machine. Uh, so here I am going to stick them together and then it's a little bit crooked. And I'm going to move it around a, lit, a little bit and then I'm going to take it off again and try to position it again. And this is really <laughs> where my perfectionism hit me. Um, Sayer didn't notice. I asked her if she noticed that they were a little bit crooked, but she was like, no, <laughs> I don't see that. So, uh, yeah. It, it was it is funny for me to see this uh, see this back so I really hope that if you struggle with perfectionism in your projects other people don't see it and in the end in the bigger picture I even didn't see it anymore I was just really happy with what it came out so yeah 
back to my mail. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of embellishments inside this pocket because I thought it was a bit too blah, a bit, bit too bland. So I'm going to add this piece of a doily uh, inside there, just so it's just inside the pocket. Um, but I couldn't fit the whole doily in there. It's also a waste, so I cut off a little bit of the doily. And uh, now I'm going to adhere it so it's a little bit in the pocket but also a little bit out of the pocket or most of it is out of the pocket. And I will find some embellishments to stick in the pocket. But first I will adhere this envelope um, flipbook thingy inside my folder with some glue. And yeah, I can see it now. It's not <laughs> completely straight. But um, yeah... It's, it really doesn't matter. After I embellished, it, it doesn't, you don't even see it anymore. So now I'm going to play with some embellishments. I really know, knew up front that I wanted to use, first of all, you're really pretty. Uh, because that is what I wanted to say to say here. So I really wanted to use that one. And then I found this heart I thought was perfect as a closure. So I only glued the bottom part of the heart down onto the envelope so the flap could still move in and out of it so it has a natural closure and now i'm going to find some embellishments to layer them up with the pocket so if she wants so if she takes the letter out it still looks embellishment and um, embellished and it still looks like fun so i found this tag and i made a hole with my uh, crocodile and uh, adhered added some twine into that and I'm just gluing these embellishments uh, to the doily. Moving on I found this heart and I wanted to think about that for a very long time but then I was like no Kira just stick it down. <laughs> uh, I'm also going to use some of the washi tape uh, to let, create a little bit of a ground for that embellishment and I'm going to take some flat back pearls to um, decorate it a little bit more and here you will see my perfectionism again <laughs> I am um, going to move these around quite a bit and now I'm looking back at it I was like seeing it I'm like why why do you keep moving it around so much Kira um, but yeah I um, I thought <laughs> this needed a lot of time <laughs> to move around these pearls um, and it, you know, looking back at this, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, it's funny. Moving on. Um, now I'm going to decorate these envelopes because they're still just plain envelopes with text. And I thought it would be fun if the when she opens up the flap that it would say, Hey Valentine. So I just use a little bit of washi to ground that. And I'm going to add this hard washi from Dina Wakely to the bottoms of these uh, envelopes to separate them a little bit. And also to ground other embellishments that I'm going to add on these envelopes. So I found this uh, La La Love embellishment, I thought. It says La La Love. I think so. Yes, it does. Uh, I'm going to stick that down and also the I Like You. Here you see that I am just starting to go for it. If it looks nice, then it looks nice. I noticed that my perfectionism was a problem. And now I'm just going for it and just sticking down. If I like it, I'm going to stick it down. And I will figure out later on what I want to do. But if I like it right now... I'm going to stick it down. It's the same with this washi tape. Yeah, I liked it, so I'm going to stick it down. And um, that is something that I learned with crafting, um, that you have to create a point for yourself to just go for it. And uh, that is what I did here. So if I really didn't like something, I didn't adhere it right away. But if I did like it, I just added it. So I'm going through the embellishments again, uh, trying to find pieces. And I really like these little flowers. And these sunglasses, I couldn't make them work, so I'm putting them back. But I did really like the flowers, so I'm going to adhere these flowers to that corner. And then I found this bottle of wine, I think. And uh, this env little envelope with a heart. And it was perfect, of course, for snail mail. So I added those. And um, I'm moving on. found this banner, but I thought it was too much. It was going to be too much. I need a little bit of a rest point. So I'm not going to add the banner. But I did find this little metal thingy. I don't know how to call it. 
more love it says and I thought it looked cute under the envelopes going to add some more hearts uh, this is a valentine's collection so of course there are a lot of hearts in there uh, so there are also a lot of hearts in this meal and uh, i'm just going to adhere those to the envelopes and now i'm pretty happy with how my meal looks oh yeah and then i found this happy heart day um so i also added that uh, but i didn't really want the blue to show too much under the flap so uh, I moved it a little bit around. Now I'm going to grab some goodies. So I found this red tag. I knew Sayer would love because it's so red. And uh, I am going to adhere, add some of the die cuts in a little baggie for her to use. And then I found these um, vintage labels in my stash. So these are from AliExpress. Uh, so if you type in vintage labels, I think you can find them. And then I also added a bunch of washi, washi stickers for her to use um, in the envelopes. So then I noticed that my heart needed a little bit more um, adhesive to keep it closed. And that was the pretty much my flipbook. So now I'm going to make my own writing paper, which I like to do because then it will uh, be cohesive with my mail. So I have this uh, just cheap writing paper and um, if it's too big, I cut it to size and uh, you will see how I do that. So first of all, I cut off the top and now I'm going to fold it in threes because I knew that way it would fit in my mail. Then I'm going to fit it and then I'm going to find out that it's too big. So I will cut off about an inch from this mail uh, of this paper and then it fits perfectly in there. So after it fits perfectly, I am going to decorate it and it's going to be very, very simple. I'm just going to use two types of washi tape. Um, this gold one, which I used throughout the mail, and I will use the Dina Wakely hard one and uh, do this on all the pages. I know that uh, I write very long letters with say here with lots of words, so I need a lot of writing space. Uh, so I usually don't add too much to, our, uh, to the writing paper. I also found this paper clip I made several years ago and I thought it was perfect to keep everything together. And uh, now I'm going to adhere some more of those flat back pearls. Uh, these are heart shaped, so uh, perfect for Valentine's Day. And uh, I'm just going for it and sticking them down. I love things in groups of three, so that is what I'm doing here. And then this is pretty much the base of my flipbook. So now moving on to the envelope, I always fit my mail in my envelope. Does it fit? Yes, then I can decorate it. And I'm just going to use the scraps here. So I used that red paper inside for the pocket and I used that uh, text paper for the envelopes. So I'm going to add some of these Distress Oxide uh, on this paper and I am going to adhere that to my envelope and uh, with just some regular glue. And I love using my scraps for this because they keep it cohesive and it gives me less scraps to work with <laughs> which is always good so now i'm going to adhere some double-sided tape to this envelope because the washi tape doesn't really stick amazingly well and it has to go through the postal system so i really make sure that washi tape and papers really stick when it has to go through the po postal system like this and out in the open um <clears throat> So that's why I used some extra double-sided tape and um, now I'm just going to glue this corner down to my envelope. Cutting off the excess paper and now I'm taking another washi tape that I used as a sample for Sayer to line my envelope. And that way the paper that I adhered will also stay down on the edges. That's also one of the reasons that I like to do this. Also it looks a lot of fun. Um, because that envelope is decorated all around but it also has a function that it keeps the papers down on the edges of the envelope so after I did that uh, I also had a little bit of trouble with finding the things I wanted to find for the envelope but in the end I settled on these three hearts uh, that I'm going to adhere um, in this on this envelope so it says happy Valentine's Day Hugs plus kisses and happy heart day. 
And then the final thing that I am going to do is I am going to... I will also add a little bit of extra washi tape because I can. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to write say her her name uh, big on this envelope. And I'm going to use a red marker to write it out. And uh, I also did that for the other Valentine's meal I made uh, that will also be posted soon on my YouTube channel. So I really hope that you enjoy this seasonal meal that I made because usually I'm always too late with these kinds of things. So if you like this video, I would love it if you'd give me a thumbs up. I would also love it if you consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Bye!